In this video, we are going to discuss about assemblers. Assemblers are language processors. So what they do? They will convert the assembly level program into the machine level program. Assembly level program in which the programmers are writing the program is called the source code and the assembler will convert it into the object code. So this is the input for an assembler and this is the output for an assembler, the source code and the object code. So why do we need assemblers? Assemblers are needed because it increases the efficiency of the programmer. Let me remind you, if we are not using assemblers, then the programmers will have to write the instruction in machine level language, which is just zeros and ones. So if I want to tell the computer that add 2 plus 3 or add 2 and 3. So this whole instruction has to be written in a string of zeros and ones. So add is represented by say 10101, then 2 is represented by 010. So in this way that whole string has to be written. Obviously this will take lots of time. So assembly level program is used by the programmers instead of the machine level program. It increases the productivity because long strings of code have not to be written. The programmer has flexibility in writing programs customized to the specific computer. Why we are writing in assembly level language? Because if we use the high level level programs or high level languages, then in that case, the programmer does not have access to the machine level language. So try to understand that when I speak in a language that is English like when I use a language like Java or C++, I will not be able to program according to the machine. So assembly level language is somewhere in between which has some advantages of the high level language because the programmer does not have to write in zeros and ones. At the same time, it has some access to the processor or the bus or the memory of the computer so that it can be customized written faster program. A language like C is somewhere it is although it is a high level program but still it comes somewhere below there because it has an access to the machine level program as well, machine level code as well. So that helps the programmers in writing customized codes. In this video, we have understood how an assembler works. In our next video, we are going to discuss about another language processor called interpreter.